Hi everyone, this is um, the first test of the audio. This video, we'll be testing all the audio. And you get to see uh, exactly what it's like in No Man's Sky for the PlayStation 4 here. And so far, this is um, what has been built. A little base on a nice planet full of islands and beaches. And uh, peaceful, peaceful animals on this planet. If we actually zoom in here, it's pretty interesting. Uh, animal here with a juvenile pretty cool looking currently it's definitely nighttime on this planet here's uh, the portal that will send you to other bases and uh, space stations So, so far this is what has been built within, I'd say, probably the amount of time that this has been built was just a few hours. Um, it wasn't completely a full two hours of building. Kind of built a little bit, came back to the game and built a little bit more. So it looks like an award was was given for for walking. So here's one of the landing pads. Eventually a ocean base, underwater base will be built in this massive planet that has just tons of, of ocean. It's almost pretty much kind of like Earth where it looks like it's about 75% ocean and water compared to the land. Now this is uh, one of the S-class ships. This is the highest class ship you can get. A lot of the S-class ships are um, explorer ships. If you actually scan it, it kind of tells you that it's an exotic ship class S and they are rare ships to get and I renamed it the Golden Phoenix so that's a pretty cool spaceship in No Man's Sky so yeah always going to be building Pretty much, we'll probably build a nice city type scape along this beach here. And of course, you got uh, jetpacks in No Man's Sky, so you can fly all the way up on the roof and kind of see a nice overview. And as you see, just a massive amount of, of ocean. This is a toxic planet. It has, it has toxic rain. But the temperatures of this planet are pretty nice. I mean, it's usually 80, 80 some degrees, unless a storm comes or something. And as you see, there is green type crystals coming out of the ocean here and they're made of chlorine and dihydrogen so yeah that that is very interesting but yeah the plants are definitely odd looking in this planet kind of strange because it's kind of a tropical slash 
desert looking type mix of a planet. Here's the lovely uh, peaceful animals. The herd always just kind of hangs out around this area of the base. Really cool creatures here. Definitely neat creatures. And what's really nice is here is some of the some of the exo crafts that uh, you can jump in and drive around. We have one. I left one up here the last time I played. This is kind of where I first landed on the planet and set up. Set up the colony here. I'm going to rename the actual uh, colony here. So it looks like it might have actually renamed it, but so far it's still called something else. Maybe that's what this is, yeah. Let's see what this communication is. And it looks like I can't edit it at all. See if I can delete it. See, that is what's interesting about No Man's Sky right now is when you set down one of these, and if you need to modify it, edit, and put different comments in it and greetings, you can't right now. All you can do is change the color of it, and that is it. But it does not let you remove it and put a new one. So. Of course, you try to change the color. It seems like it doesn't really change the color that much either. <clears throat> so hopefully when the uh, new update comes out, uh, No Man's Sky Beyond update, some of these little functions that you can't do will, will be resolved and you can uh, finally do them. So here's one of the Exo crafts. Pretty cool. Oops, just ran over one of the little creatures. I can't remember if you can go in water or not, but it looks like you can. That is nice. And we got the booster. So this craft is pretty nice. You can kind of go over water and land. It's kind of like a, a hovercraft here. And as you see, there's all these crystals down there. You can see uh, all sorts of plants in the ocean. So yeah, this is pretty pretty much the base so far. A lot more to come. And then uh, what's nice about these exo crafts is you can you can change the color of them. You can put symbols on them. You can modify them all you want. If you click on summon the no. Nomad exo, exo crafts. There you go. It basically parks it. Here's the modification recalibrate. 
module. So yeah, so far, yeah, here we go. The sun's coming out. There's another ship that might be coming into land. These are mining um, deals here, which you can harvest the oxygen. So as you see, plenty of storage, definitely when you uh, have some vehicles and along with uh, storage places at the base. Um, definitely quite a bit of storage here. So this is like a little oxygen uh, mining, automatic mining thing. Oxygen harvester, pretty neat. I do see some animals flying around. I don't know if enough, I haven't scanned those in yet. See if I can scan one. They're really hard to scan. Maybe I can get the whole bunch of them here. Yeah, they are flying fast. No Man's Sky, very important to scan everything you see that can be scanned. That's an easy way of accumulating your. Um, currency so always just kind of go along scan what you can some the little things here and there aren't scannable but see a nice red dot on an object that you haven't scanned yet so pretty sure there's probably something in the ocean here's another little creature looks like a badger um, pretty much in the ocean there's probably something that I haven't scanned yet so if we go down here in the ocean, there might be something down here. Oh, look at this. Here's a cave already. So that's nice. Definitely want to explore the caves in No Man's Sky. This is where you will find rare items. And so far, looks like I've scanned. Oh, here we go. Here's a certain type of crystal that I haven't scanned yet. There we go. And as you see, 200 units. It's pretty interesting because sometimes you can scan something and they'll give you 20,000 units or 40,000. I mean, it's, it's definitely... I've gotten quite a bit of units just by scanning something. Which is easy, easy... Uh, money in this game of course remember you can zoom in on things when you're scanning so so far it looks like yeah everything a lot of things have been scanned already so so now I'm gonna swim out of this cave here so that's kind of nice that um, a nice natural cave is already here of course you can create your own caves in no man's sky by using your terrain tool. So as you see, these crystals are pretty neat. I really like this planet. It has, I haven't really seen a planet with a ton of crystals um, in the water. So it's, it is definitely nice to see a planet that's different. So there's the base again. Uh, other, other people do fly in and land every once in a while and actually there's a way of seeing what type of ship it is if you can get your scanner on it it'll tell you what class and everything kind of like earlier when I scanned my ship you see when you scan the ship it will give you the info of how much it, how many units it costs what type of ship it is the name everything but there's one more thing I wanted to show you regarding the oceans, and that is you can start creating a base underneath the water, which is really neat, which eventually I'll get to that. Uh, this right here is kind of just like a nice little um, building that you can get in out of the water and kind of just hang out and observe things. See, there's some creatures there. Those are weird looking. They like the water. Uh, look like actual bulls. 
Oh, I haven't scanned them yet. So see that it's showing red? So let's get these scanned. They look like cows. Look like a aquatic bull. Very strange looking. Pretty cool. So now they're running away from me, but hey, I got them scanned. And as you see, small crustaceans they eat seeks warmth so it's interesting no stomach it even says it has no stomach so that is weird but it literally looks like a bull or a steer a cow with with a fin on the back of its back that is interesting and then here's some squids i have already scanned these guys these guys are pretty cool looking you got some squids so yeah, uh, No Man's Sky has definitely um, improved a lot since the beginning. And here's a crab, it looks like, I found. Nice little crab. These things, oh yeah, marine snows, the diet. Highly intelligent, it says. So yeah, what's nice is when you're looking at these creatures, some of them are really smart. And, they'll, and you can feed them, too. If you have the substance to feed them, See, I just fed this one. The little icon will come up, and then you'll see the little smiley face that, you know, I just fed the crab on the beach here, and it is happy. And when you feed a creature, more than likely they'll kind of hang out with you and walk around with you, hang out in your area. It's pretty cool. So one more thing about the oceans. Of course, you can get a submarine, and here is the submarine. Um, I don't think I've actually named it yet. Um, yeah, I think I just I left the original name of what they call it. But, but yeah, same thing. You can change the color of the sub um, and kind of go from there. So yeah, it is actually pretty cool. You can get in the sub and it has a nice light. You can do mining in the sub. So yeah, you can go in these deep areas here. Let's see if I can get back down in the water here. Come on. So as you see, the sub is pretty neat. So if you, you can go along here. I'll take go. Let's see if I can get deeper here. Gotta get deeper. So, as you see, the ocean is eventually getting deeper here, so this will be nice to go real deep. Oh, it looks like I found a plant. It hasn't been scanned yet. Every time you see like an unidentified plant with question marks. Oh, here we go. So see, as you see, this sub, uh, I mean, it's getting deep. This is probably one of the deepest areas I've seen so far. Oh, look at this. So this is one of those exotic rare items that you'll see in the ocean and you definitely want to collect these when you can. And it's armored clams and those aren't these armored clams they have um, some pearls inside them that are worth a lot of money. So as you see, pretty cool. in the sub oh it looks like there's something over here too another rare item in the ocean I've collected these in the past so they're little gems there's gems on the side of this vent and you can collect the gems and they're worth a lot of money too so I see something over here it looks like mushrooms or some coral or something Looks like it must be part of the kelp there. Another plant, so. So as you see, just in that short amount of time, went pretty far, and it looks like those clams are pretty close to 
where the station is. Let's see here. Yep. So there's a couple of them right there. So that is nice. So I'm going to park this thing. park it and you know swimming swimming you can actually swim pretty fast in this game I mean you can actually hit the hit the hit the jet you can hit the jet and just start going now here's some fish that I'm oh yeah we scan those these are looking like barracuda type fish but yeah let's actually I'll I'll go to one of these uh clams with the pearls here somewhere right around here so you can use your jet pack underneath the water that's where you can get going pretty fast so I mean as you see it looks like almost you can swim faster than that sub there they are so yeah as long as you got unlimited um, oxygen you can swim pretty fast. So you let so you have to shoot this clam here. And there you go. So now I got a living pearl. And I bet it's worth probably quite a bit. So as you see that's pretty cool. You just shoot the clam. And there you go. Harvest the pearl. So so far. So far looking pretty nice. And actually you can tell as you see it's starting to get dark again on the planet. The ocean's getting a little bit darker. But of course you can always go back to here if you wanted to park the sub again. And then you just summon the craft. There you go. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, it looks like we're nighttime again on on the planet. So this kind of wraps up my uh, test uh, audio video, and uh, I'll probably do a live stream of this pretty soon if the audio works out. Just testing the uh, basic PlayStation Four. Um, mic that they give you so just the one that plugs into your controller uh, people have told me it actually works pretty well as you see I already got a weapons terminal here so that is nice upgrade my weapon I got storage over here store all sorts of things of course here's the portal that will send me to other stations and uh, space stations so that portal will take me to other bases that I build so I eventually, you know, I'll start finding more lovely tropical planets that I can build on and uh, find special planets with certain resources for building and everything. But as you see, I kind of made a nice tower here. And of course, I can keep expanding this. I can get rid of these sections. I can get rid of this roof section here. I probably will. And what I'll do is I'll put a nice patio out here and you can kind of hang out outside on the patio overlooking the land there so yeah lots of cool things you can do I mean you can completely just customize and build all sorts of things so I hope everyone enjoys this uh, video this test uh, no man's sky audio uh, video and uh, usually uh, I tested uh, the the video portion with no audio now I'm testing it with this mic and hopefully this mic sounds good other people have said that it sounds pretty good so hopefully this video turns out 